Welcome vacuum fans, insomniacs, and people with nothing better to do than watch me unbox a vacuum. Welcome to another unboxing video. This one, despite the box, it is not inside here. A Zanussi multi-cyclonic airspeed light upright vacuum. No, it's not one of those, so if you've tuned in for that, you're going to be disappointed. But obviously, I've put what's in here in the title, so the box Hasn't fooled anyone. It didn't fool me. Well, hopefully. This should be a Hoover Aria, although I'm not sure if it actually says Aria on it. But I know the shape of this machine to be Aria, an Aria. And um, it dates from sometime in the 90s, I expect. So, I know the hose in this will need replacing. I got this for quite an ex I think, you know, the seller was lucky to get what I paid. I paid £25 plus postage. And that was the starting bid. I was the only bidder. And the seller, I didn't pay, you know, because I didn't pay immediately, the seller, you know, emailed me a day or two after and said, if I want to back out, that's fine. He really wanted more than £25 for it. Well, as I said, I think he's lucky to get £25 for this. If he'd started it at 99 pence, I still think he wouldn't have got more than £25 for it anyway. And I take into account, you, know, you see it's not really protected the cleaner very well, I take into account, that's filthy, um, I take into account when I'm looking at second hand cleaners on eBay, I take into account how much it's going to cost me to fix it up. Now, it's going to need a hose at least, I think he's I, th I think I've been a mug, to be honest, to, to seeing it straight away, but anyway, it might clean up okay. The seller seems to think that that's the original nozzle. I don't, to be honest, think that is the original nozzle. That is a cheapo Chinese-made nozzle. Now, the Arias, this cleaner would have been made, I think it'll say, made in the EC on it. So it was either made in... Camberslang, Scotland, or the Hoover factory in Portugal, Lisbon, Portugal. So I, I that, uh, as far as I know, was not the nozzle supplied with the Aria. So I don't think I'll be using this cellar again. Here is the hose. I have seen replacement hoses for the Aria, but they've been black. But if it's a complete black hose, I have to get, so that's what I'll get. Um, but the way it's, if I can get just the inner part of the hose, it might be okay. Here's the handle. It's quite worn, actually. I'm, 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 few, I'm quite angry. <laughs> quite angry with this one. I shouldn't have bought it, really. Because look what's wrong with the hose. Somebody has had the hose. And I knew this at the time of buying. I did, uh, you know, before I even placed a bid, I looked up a replacement hose for this and how much that would cost. Um... That's been melted somehow. This part that goes into the cleaner seems okay. And uh, there was a split as well, I believe, pictured. If I can find, oh yes, there we are. So it does need a new hose. So this, I think, would not, somebody wanting a vacuum wouldn't have gone for this because obviously it needs a new hose. They would have bought, probably could buy a, you know, a cheapo new one for not much more than this one. And a collector, if anything like me, would have realised it needs a new hose, how much is that going to cost? So, if you're watching, matey boy, you're lucky to get, very lucky to get £25 for this. And again, that, I'm pretty sure that that is not original. I think I've been diddled here. That, to me, looks like a much later extension tube. Certainly, the Aria cleaners I had, I had a couple of them, they didn't have this type of tube. No, that is not correct. Does fit on, does fit on the handle, fortunately. And I assume that will fit on. Yeah. So it'll, it fits, but no, it's not original. No way. Whether the seller was just ignorant or dishonest, I'm not sure. Right. It doesn't actually say Aria on it, but it is 
what Hoover marketed as our, uh, the Hoover Aria when they first came out. I think I, I had a green one similar to this. I also had a yellow one. Looking at the cleaner itself, it's not too bad. It will clean up well, it will polish out. There's a little bit of scuffing there, but it will... Once I've given it a bit of a hot soapy water and uh, a bit of a polish, it should be okay. So I'm quite pleased so far with the condition of the actual cleaner. It takes H7 dust bags, as you can see. Sensotronic dust bags, which you can still buy, you can still get the originals. Obviously, that should have, again I can get one, but that should have a black clip time when these bags were reusable there should have been a long black clip I'm sure I can still get those it's been stapled that one but that's uh, H7 Sensotronic later Sensotronic not these uh, these fit the more boxier late 80s 89 onwards Sensotronics not the um, previous 80s Sensotronics uh, so I'll have to get some of those because I haven't got any there's a pre-motor filter that will need replacing. I can wash this, but I'll, I'll replace it. I'll be able to get those as well. All needs just a good wash. If the motor sounds okay, you know, I won't be too disappointed. If any of you know which tools you think should have come with this, because I'm sure that's not the correct floor nozzle and it's not the correct extension wand, I'm not sure if you, it would have. It might have had plastic extension tubes. There's a slot here for the Hoover air freshener to emit a pleasant aroma. I do still have plenty of those which should fit in that slot. So there we go. I think this could be classed as tropical green because I'm, I've got a Hoover Alpina. I'm sure it's this particular colour. So this could have been an exclusive model. It's quite a late model Aria. But as I say, it's not actually, it doesn't actually say Aria on it. But it does have a variable speed control. So you've got your low setting for curtains. You've got a uh, sort of medium for upholstery. Then you've got carpets. Maximum for hard floors. It's got a bag check indicator, a red light indicator, so it's not a piston indicator. You've also got a red light which will indicate overheating, so if you lock the cleaner or you use it with a full bag, uh, that cutout inside the machine should operate and that will light up and I assume the machine will turn off. Foot operated, mm, seems a bit odd, foot operated, cord rewind and on off button. And of course the cord is at the back, so it's a fitted plug, well, it's at least it's not one of those flat cords, it is a, a round cord, fitted plug, sounds okay coming out, let's see if it's any good going in, <laughs> oh there we go, it's a little bit sluggish. It does work eventually. I don't think this seller's feedback is 100% actually. I really should have read the feedback. I haven't shown you the tools. They're under here. This actually, mm, now I'm saying Aria, but this could well be more related to the Hoover Vogue. I think actually, yes. I think the Aria was very similar to the Vogue, but now I think looking at it, it is more like the Vogue. Now I had a few Vogues and they did have the tools here, but it was a translucent cover. At least the tools, these tools seem genuine and the originals, dusting brush, don't know if the litter pickers have worn off or are not actually on there. Some of them didn't actually have litter pickers. 
some of the lower end models. That's your stair and upholstery nozzle. And your stubbly little crevice tool. So they're all okay, all complete. So what I need to do is source a hose for this. And if I can find what cleaning tool, the main cleaning tool should have gone with this. Here is the exhaust filter. Mm, I don't know if that's, that's not, that's not the, uh, definitely not the correct one that's been put in there. That's obviously been cut to fit, but I'm pretty sure, hopefully that's come up. That's come off that part. Pretty sure I'll be able to get the original. If not, I do have some cut to fit generic filters. It's not like I'm going to be using this, is it? So, um, you know, I'm not going to be too upset by that. Let's have a look. Yeah, no power takeoff socket, which on the top of the range Vogue in the UK, which I had, it didn't have a power head option, but it had a remote control. Um, you actually, you'd put the nozzle, the hose in the top, the swivel hose, but it wouldn't swivel 360 degrees because out of the elbow of the swivel hose, it would have a cord and you'd have to plug it in to a socket located here to power the remote control. They never did a powerhead version of the Vogue, which was a bit disappointing. Here's your parking bucket. So yes, it's not, it's not the correct because the extension tube would have had a parking bracket actually on it. It's not the original. The tube and the nozzle are much, much later from a Chinese Hoover, definitely. Right. It's model anyway, model SC364. Let's see if we can date it. The serial is SC364 971300192, made in EC, as I thought. It's a 1300 watt max, as it says on the top 1300. The wheel's a little bit worn, but they're, they seem okay. Right then, folks. Yes, actually, no, I think it is more of a Vogue. The only Vogues, I had two Vogues. The original Vogue lineup consisted of three cleaners. The bottom model was red. Yes, this is more like, actually, thinking of it, this is more like the middle white model. The bottom model was red, and I think it was fixed suction. Then there was the white model, which I did own, which had variable speed. And then the top model, which I believe was some sort of a, a rose colour. Can't recall the actual name who they gave it, but the top model had a control, a, a panel of lights here and the remote control. Both the red and the white models had plastic, two-piece plastic extension tubes, as far as I remember. I'll check my um, brochure. But the top model had metal, but it, I think they were still two-piece. They weren't telescopic. So yes, thinking this is an Aria type cleaner, I now am thinking it is more related to the Vogue. So all in all, it's not bad. If you look at the bottom of this cleaner, don't look at the top, but th this part and the wrapped around furniture guard this was the body from the old Hoover Compacts, not the first generation Compacts, the second more boxy Compacts. Basically what they did when they launched the Vogue, they just basically restyled the top of the cleaner. The original Compacts, and I've got um, a very old um, short video of a Hoover Compact electronic total system in blue. Um, I'll put a link below. That, it was exactly the same underneath, but the top was different. And it had tools inside, but they weren't on the back under a flap. You had to turn the machine off and it was stored in a little caddy over the bag compartment. So it's basically a restyled compact. But all in all, you know, that's, that's going to clean up well. It's just disappointing about the tools. But it's not such an old model that everything is obsolete, so hopefully I might be able to get some parts to make it all genuine. Okay, I'm going to put it on minimum power. Plug it in because it might turn on when I plug it in. 
So I'll find a socket and we'll hopefully, if this motor sounds okay, I'll be fairly happy with this vacuum. Okie dokie, now when I plugged it in, it did actually turn on and it sounded okay. It was on its low speed. I'm gonna pop the hose in. So I'm not sure if this hose is original. Uh, it looks a bit, I think it would have been more silver than this. This looks quite bronzy. So the hose could be original. Um, it certainly wouldn't have come, the, the original Vogue's had a black hose, I'm, I'm sure of that. So I'm just thinking this was a, a later version of a Vogue, maybe um, an exclusive. Okay, it should be okay. <laughs> That sounds fine. That sounds pretty sweet. So, you know, I'm uh, quite happy with that. Obviously it's gonna need, I heard a bit of air rushing. It's obviously going to improve matters with a nice new bag and filters in it. Let's see if it's got a soft start, I doubt it. No. So as you saw, the bag check indicator was illuminating when I was blocking the end of the hose. So yeah, that's, it's okay, you know. I'd have been happy really for 25 pounds if it had the original extension wand and floor nozzle, but I'm, you know, I'm sure some of you watching all know that that isn't. I mean, I've got cleaners that I bought recently from Hoover that have got that particular nasty head on. Um, I'll check back on my brochures for the Vogue's and the Aria's in fact and they didn't have that because I believe the Aria's that I had and the Vogue's I think they had a metal base plate so that is a cheap Chinese nozzle and not a European made nozzle <coughs> so but all in all it's very short yet you see it doesn't really quite fit it doesn't really quite fit the handle uh, very well um, yeah, this is the same as my Telios. In fact, a Telios hose would probably fit if I can't get the original hose. Um, if I can change the end, if the end, because the, obviously the Telios end isn't the same as this. Let's give it another go. Oh, my feet have fallen to sleep. Ooh. All in all, I feel a little bit cheated, the fact that that is definitely not original. But I've not got a brochure, I'll just unplug it, I've not got a brochure with this particular model in it. I've got brochures with the Aria and I've got brochures with the Vogue's. But as I say, I think this was probably a later model and it was probably a budget, budget model. Yeah, that's a bit, a bit suspect. Hoover never were very good at automatic cable rewinds. Never. But that's done it, that's done it. So, it's not bad, it's not bad. It's nice to have a Vogue-esque type compact cleaner. You can't see it. I know I shouldn't adjust, I shouldn't adjust while I'm filming, but anyway, there we go. You can see it now, you can see my fat belly. This is all going. By the time this is uploaded, I'll be half the man I was, I can assure you. Um, yeah, so all in all, I think that's gonna polish up well. It's nice to have another 90s. As I say, I'm pretty sure this is a 90s Hoover. It's quite heavy, a lot heavier than the machines we have nowadays. But not as heavy as some, I, ooh, they were real monsters in the 80s as well. Um, cylinder cleaners were absolutely ooh, 
weighed a ton and this is a compact model. Now here's something else that uh, shows a bit of its history, a little bit of um, an archaeolog archaeological. I can't say certain words. You know what I mean. When they're digging up old houses and old bones, you can see re um, remnants, that's the correct word, remnants of how something used to be. And this is showing the remnant of when it used to be a Hoover Compact. You just about get the light there. Can you see that circle? There we go. Get the light out. There, look. You can see all my lights I've got illuminating because it's absolutely summer at the moment. But you wouldn't know it to look out the window, so I've got four lights on in this room. But that is a circle where the original compact, the hose would have gone in there because the original compact didn't have the swivel top hose. That is the later addition for the Vogue and Aria cleaners. So there we go. All in all, fairly pleased with that. You'll see it again, I expect, once I've uh, cleaned it up. I don't think I'm going to take this apart. I don't think it's necessary. I might take the top off and have, I'm not taking the motor apart or anything like that because the motor to me sounds fine. There's, there's no problem with the motor. So all in all, yeah, another cleaner. I didn't actually have one of these, but I had similar. So it's nice to have another, what I consider classic Hoover, certainly classic before the time Candy took them over and ruined the company. I don't really care for them now. There are far better manufacturers out there at the time of making this video, but Hoover, I still always have a soft spot for Hoover because you tend to like what you grew up with, what you liked when you were younger. And I liked Hoover. Anyway, thanks for watching. Plenty more to come on my channel. More vintage machines and more brand new cleaners as well. Uh, there'll be carpet washers, possibly the odd steamer and vintage and brand new upright and cylinder vacuum cleaners for me to unbox and demonstrate thanks for watching please thumb up if you like this video thanks for all your support and uh, here's to many more years of vacuum fun on my channel so until the next time i'll see you very very soon bye for now